wash daily Daily wash, wash daily God, please clean my room this time Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you Welcome to Daily Wash Wednesdays Today we're going to talk about three indicators that you're in a hostage situation now don't worry, we're going to get to that, but first, let's do our scripture references, okay? We have two today. Our first is coming from 1 Peter, the 5th chapter, the 8th verse, New International Version, and it says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Our second scripture reference will be taken from Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the 25th through the 32nd verses, and we will be reading the New King James Version. I need you to hang tight because there's a lot of meat in this scripture, okay? Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. Ooh, now, that was meaty like I promised, so it's a lot to take in. Be sure to pause the tape, rewind to go back so you can get those scripture references again and read them in their entirety for yourself. Now, back to those three indicators that you just might be in a hostage situation. Number one, you cringe at the sound of God's word. Hmm, hope that isn't you, but in case it is, keep listening. Number two, you are in pursuit of the good life. But when you go to sleep at night, you feel empty. Number three, you find it difficult to pursue God's will for your life. Instead, you're chasing and choosing your way instead. Oh, mighty God, hallelujah, and praise the Lord. You just might be in a hostage situation if any of those indicators pointed out to you, my friends. Understand that if you're not choosing anything that is good, that is pure, that is noble, you're not choosing God's way. And if you're not choosing God's way, chances are you are a hostage of the enemy. You're no longer in control. You're doing things that you would not have otherwise done. Think of someone that you may know that has an addiction of some form. They may have some type of sexual addiction. They may have some type of addiction to a drug. And they're constantly doing whatever they can to get back to that thing. And this includes those who think they're doing part in recreational drugs too. Those are tearing down your body. They're not things that your Heavenly Father put on this earth for you to use in the ways that they're being used. And I'm here to tell you about it. You're going to get mad. You're going to get angry. But it's just the truth. And it's the bottom line. It's the facts. So it's time for you to call for help. It's time for you to ring the alarm. It's time for you to release. And be released from this hostage situation, okay? And the good news for you is that our Heavenly Father sent His Son Christ on this earth so that we might be redeemed. And He is resurrected and He's seated on the right hand of the God, Father of God Almighty, okay? So it's time for you to be rescued. You can be rescued today. It's time for you to be relieved from that hostage situation. And I think it's awesome that you've taken this time to be with your Heavenly Father today so that you might find this out. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for freeing all of the hostages who have been taken by the hands of the enemy. I pray, Father God, that today they no longer sit on the fence about the situation, that they understand that you did not put them on this earth to be victims, but you put them here so they may live abundantly and have that which you said they could have. We thank you, Father God, that everything that your word says it will set out to do, because that's all your word can do. We know that you cannot lie. We know that you are not a man, and we thank you for the victory that we have today in your son Christ Jesus, Lord. We thank you for choosing us to do your will in this 
earth. We thank you for giving us chance after chance after chance, even when we've chosen to go to other ways, to give us yet another chance to come back to you, Lord. Lord, we love you. We lift your name on high. All these things we ask in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, and God bless. Daily wash, wash daily. Daily wash, wash daily. God, please clean my room.